Good morning, YouTube. How are you this morning? We are pretty good. Uh, it is about 8.45 Central Time, and we are in Laredo, Texas, at uh, LMS International again. Uh, we got here last night about 8.30, and uh, it was a real good drive down. Of course, he did all the driving, and, you know, he did, he's getting better, but he still has, like I said, a tendency to kind of go road blind, <clears throat> but, uh something he's working on but like I've said before all truckers do it actually not just truckers but everybody does it um, when they're driving for long long distances over a long period of time uh, this place isn't open yet and uh, there are three other two other Mavericks here a couple other trucks but uh, only one in front of us and the guy in front of us got here just a couple minutes before we did because we stopped at the TA here in Laredo and uh, got a late dinner and uh, put it around before we came over here. Um, we do have a pre-plan. We're loading here in Laredo over at uh, uh, Del Marco, I think it is. Excuse me, Del Bravo forwarding, which I loaded at before um, in, in a van uh, years and years ago. And that's going to Cedar Hill, Texas. We're picking up coils. So, but we have an 11 o'clock appointment for that, so hopefully we can get, out, get in and get out of here and get over there. Because it's about a 45 minute drive, even though it's only 30 miles away. And of course I get paid one mile, empty. And that load goes to Cedar Hill, so it's a, definitely a home load. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do with him as far as uh, if he's going to continue to stay with me until they decide to pull him off the truck. or. I'm going to send him home or to Little Rock from Dallas. I will, after we load it, load and start heading up, I will, uh, I will call his fleet manager and find out what he, what she wants to do as far as, uh, uh, dealing with him since he, today is his last day. He's supposed to graduate from the truck today. And, uh, I think he's ready. I mean, he's not polished, but then again, you know, he's a brand new driver. I think he'll do well once he gets his focus on and uh, and uh, gets going. So I got confidence in him. He just got to pass his evals. He's just done real well. I had him back, I think, four times yesterday in different locations, and he did really, really well on that. Um, everything's picked up real nice. I'm confident that he really won't have any problems uh, as long as he pays attention to what he's doing and uh, keeps uh, vigilant on his uh, – on his rounds, so to speak. So I will uh, talk to y'all later after we get loaded. See ya. Good afternoon, YouTube. How are you this afternoon? Actually, it's still morning. <laughs> uh, it's uh, 11 o'clock, roughly, Central Time, and we are at uh, Del Blanco forwarding warehouse number four in Laredo we're about 20 miles or so from where where we unloaded luckily for me I got paid at least one mile for that empty load uh, we we're picking up four out of the side coals here and uh, we're taking that to Cedar Hill Texas which is just south of my house so it's a weekend load so since I will be actually passed where uh, I deliver, I'll get all the miles uh, for this load on this week's check, even though it delivers Monday. Um, so that puts me at just over 2,500 and I think 50 miles for the week. Not a bad week just going back and forth from Laredo to Oklahoma and then Fort Smith and back, um, little circle. Um, we checked in at nine o'clock. We were unloaded by 9.15. Had everything put away. I actually more like 920. Everything put away. Came over here. We got here about oh 45, 50 minutes ago. And uh, we're just sitting here waiting for them to put the coils on. Uh, and then we got a secure and tarp. Um, Corwin's fleet manager called me this morning. And uh, he's going to stay with me for the day. And then tomorrow uh, he'll be catching a Greyhound to his hometown of Shreveport. Spend some time at home before he goes back to Little Rock to... Uh, do his evals um, 
just to recap, yeah, he's done really, really well the last uh, five weeks. Um, a lot better than most brand new people who've never driven before. I think a lot of it has to do with the type of school he went to. He'll make a really good addition to Maverick um, as a driver once he gets some more experience under his belt, solo experience, and uh, you know gets a handle on things. I mean, he does have a few things he needs to work on, like paying attention to road signs and and uh, not going road blind. Uh, but uh, like I said before, all drivers go through that uh, in the beginning and even after years of driving. But uh, he'll make a really good addition to Maverick, and I hope he does really well in his evals. And he keeps in contact, asking questions of his mentor once he's gone. So uh, once we get out of here, we're going to head towards Dallas. And uh, that will be it for the week. Uh, I'm going to go home and spend the weekend with the family and deliver this thing early Monday morning. So until we talk again, keep the shiny side up, 73s. See you later.